Well, hello, y'all. This is Old Pot Pappy from Tulsa, Oklahoma, coming at you to do Wacky Wednesday number six. This is going to be a little bit weird because actually it's Saturday evening. I don't know what the date is today. Well, that's, that's pretty pathetic, isn't it? It's the 14th. Uh, we're going to be out of town a good portion of next week. We're going to have some house sitters here, but... Uh, so I don't know what all I'm going to be able to do. I can get the video uploaded, so I'm going ahead and put it in my queue early. So we can do Wacky Wednesday. So at this point, I don't know whether we had a winner or not. We had in the holding bag, we had a uh, half ounce of uh, a Peter Stockaby um, cherry bonbon. And then we had the mystery tobacco. So I don't know if the mystery tobacco is one or not. Before we're out of town on Monday, I will do a real quick video just saying, uh, here's the winner. We don't have a winner. And then I'll put this one up on Wednesday. Um, yeah, so that's kind of different. So about that, that's the only way that I can make sure that we get wacky in Wednesday in this week. So and I want to do that for y'all. Okay, um, I usually, as usual, uh, smoking the mystery blend in my Sultan Amirsham, which is a weird pipe. We've already been through this one a million times, but it, it's, it's kind of cool. It's grown on me a lot, so, you know, with the, with the bowl down in the turban, but uh, it's a good smoking little pipe. It really is. Um, I mean, for picking it up out of the state sale for nothing, I didn't expect anything out of it, but I was, I'm shocked. I enjoy smoking it at uh, one of my meerschaums I like. Um, anyway, let me put this down. I'm going to show you this week's tobacco. Well, it smells great, and it's nice and fresh, just a little moist. Just as you can see, I'm not having a problem with it. This is it. Whoops, I don't want to drop any of this stuff. You got a good look at it there? This is a great, great um, tobacco. And I will tell you, this is an English tobacco. It's a non-aromatic. There's no casings. There's no flavor. There's nothing on that uh, whatsoever. Uh, I made a few notes here. Um, it's ribbon cut. And it's currently not being tinned. It's only being sold bulk now. So currently not being tinned. Ribbon cut. And it is in uh, English. So that's the first part of the clues. We'll go ahead and get to the song now. Let me cue it up and get it going. And we'll do a little Wacky Wednesday song. So uh, here y'all go. This is for y'all. And let's go ahead and get her started. There we go. Ooh, 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 
That's a song from the late, great Harry Nilsson called Put the Lime in the Coconut. Most of y'all probably never heard that song. You know, the younger folks never heard that song. Us old geezers, you guys heard it. You heard it on AM radio when it came out many, many, many moons ago. We won't say how long that was, but um, yeah, that was in heavy rotation on AM and FM radio when I was growing up. But a great song, fun song. I hope you enjoyed it. That's your Wacky Wednesday song. Um, I'm going to set the pipe down and get some pleasurable smoke out of that. I'm going to wet my whistle. Diet, Canada Dry Ginger Ale. A lot of you know I can't drink, uh, because of my kidney dialysis, I can't drink the uh, dark drinks like Dr. Pepper, Coke, Pepsi, because of the phosphorus in it. So I have to drink things like... Uh, you know, juices that are the light colored, the peach and the lemonades, all different flavored lemonades and, the, you know, 7-Up, Sprite, and I always do the diet, so it's good to me. Every once I cheat and I do some bourbon, you know, but my doctor says that's, he gets it. Uh, anyway, I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me there, I'm going to go ahead and regroup here. I'm doing this in the evening, so the lighting's probably a little bit worse than normal, but Again, there you go, and I told you it is a ribbon cut, and I also told you it's not being tinned anymore. Um, it is in English. There is no casing, there is no flavoring, and it's, uh, in my opinion, pretty delicious tobacco. I really like this one a lot. Um, now let me give you a few more clues. Um, it does have black Cavendish in it. It does have Mexican Burley in it. It has a Cypress Latakia in it. And also a Georgian Virginia. So uh, it's definitely a mud, isn't it? Um, I would say it is probably... Mm, no, we lost her. Mm-hmm. Too much talking, not enough smoking. I'd say it's probably mild to medium. So we'll say mild to medium. I'm going to give you guys a third little peek see at this. I want to get this given away. Uh, Monday, you'll find out. Uh, woo! There's some keyboard scrapings. Not much. Not much. Uh, got it probably too full or not showing it to you well enough or... I don't know. It's definitely uh, user era. Got it all picked up there. Once again, there you go. Hope the lighting's good enough for you. But uh, anyway, um, nice little uh, English. 
as I said, it's not tinned anymore. We're going to do this one more time. Not tinned anymore. It is a ribbon cut. It is in English. No casings, no flavorings whatsoever. It's a straight English with black Cavendish in it, uh, Mexican Burley, uh, Cypress Latakia, or uh, in Georgian Virginia. So, anyway, so I'll put this on Wednesday. Like I said, I have no idea if anybody's won this past week's or not. This will be Wacky Wednesday number six on June 18th. So until later this week, y'all have a great rest of the weekend and absolutely wonderful next week. And uh, old Pipe Pappy signing off here from Tulsa, Oklahoma. God bless each and every one of you. And we'll catch y'all on that flip-flop. Take care now. Night.